Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, during the previous class, we talked about some applications. Uh, in fact, we have discussed about agriculture uh, and uh, fishing, and also we discussed about farmhouse, right? Uh, so overall, we have completed four different fields. As we started from a medical field or health sector and took some devices there, and we went on to take agriculture, then uh, farmhouse, finally fishing. Right. So before st uh, starting the today's uh, today's thing, so today's lesson, let me ask three questions. I have three questions uh, to be uh, to be discussed, right? Because I feel that questions are very important for revising the things or recalling the things. That's why I'm uh, asking some questions. Okay. So I have three uh, questions uh, regarding uh, previous lessons, the last lesson, right? Okay, look here. So my first question is, one, uh, two advantages, two advantages of using drip irrigation in agriculture, right? So what are the two advantages of drip irrigation in agriculture? Anybody? Anyone? C control the supply of water. Uh, okay. Minimize the wastage of water. Okay. Minimize the wastage of uh, wastage of water. Okay. Waste of water. Uh, wastage of water is okay. Uh, by using drip irrigation, you can uh, prevent the water wastage. That may be one advantage. At the same time, you, yes, you can say that it is controlling the water supply or something. But when it comes to advantage, uh, we must give a proper advantage, right? So it would be better to say that uh, the plants get water all the time. There is no dryness. They can get the water uh, all the time, right? So that may be the advantage. Controlling the water supply may be okay, but uh, you can't say that it is advantage because when it comes to advantage, you have to speak specifically. So better, these two are very important. Uh, water wastage is not there, it is prevented. At the same time, uh, the, the plants get water all the time because you know, water is supplied, uh, supplied as a drip, right? Drop by drop. So we can make sure that water is there all the time. So these are, uh, the major advantages of drip irrigation. Okay, another question. So we talked about uh, farmhouse, right? So tell me the technology used for counting the animals in a farmhouse. RFID. RFID. So RFID, right? Which stands for? What does it stand for? Radio frequency identification device. Yes, radio frequency identification device, RFID. RFID is widely used. It is also used in uh, farmhouse, right? Don't think that it is only restricted to farmhouse. RFID technology is widely used. Even today also I will mention an instance where RFID is used, right? So wait until I take it. Okay, so my final question is, so we discussed about, uh, because in fishing, there may not be uh, questions because it's very simple. We used, uh, we took only one application in fishing. Uh, in medical and also in agriculture, we took uh, many things. Okay, my final question. Uh, this was also one of the past paper questions too. Give me two applications in agriculture where ICT is used or where the operation is automated, right? I repeat my question. Two applications of ICT in agriculture, Sir, where that, that functions or where the operation uh, is automatically performed. Automatic weed control, control devices. Automatic weed Okay, automated weed remover. 
so there there is no human involvement it works automatically okay so that is correct automated automate automated automatic doesn't matter right automated weed remover even uh, what about uh, this one uh, plantation using robotics that is also an automated action right that robotic can work automatically so that is another one even uh, harvesting using robotics we study right so harvesting when it comes to harvesting it's all about robotics right so that is another automated action we think about this a uh, drip irrigation even though that term drip irrigation doesn't have any any phrase in the name of automated or automatic but it it is one of the automated action have you understood right so these can be automated things so this was one of the past paper questions so you have to understand right so enough uh, we have covered a little area so there cannot be many questions asked right okay so let's start this today's things uh so we have completed four uh, four sectors so let's start the fifth one uh so i talked about industry and business at the, at that particular introduction time maybe the during the first class i talked about these two fields industry or we can say even manufacturing and also business uh i think in your book these two sectors are, are combined and uh, and displayed as one but i'm not going to take them as one let's separate these two there may be relationship between these two but i let me take them uh, as separate okay starting from uh, manufacturing or industry you know industry is always related to uh, product product right so there you have to produce the things but when it comes to business there you you never produce anything it is all about selling and buying right so we have two areas business is related to selling and buying the things but when it comes to manufacturing or industry you know the product should be produced there okay so let's uh, take the manufacturing field first right so when it comes to manufacturing you know uh, it's all about uh, producing the things so here we will discuss only one application again i want to stick with the book there may be more than one application but mostly we we have to take one important thing that is production using robotics right so you know everywhere we use uh, robotics nowadays uh, in doesn't matter it's a uh, uh it's a textile manufacturing industry or maybe food manufacturing industry maybe a vehicle manufacturing industry so in all these industries or in all these factories we use right we use uh, robotics right but if you think back or if you look back maybe one or two decades before you know factories had laborers almost all the things were done by a uh, people right uh, doesn't matter if, if it is uh, garments or maybe food or maybe vehicle laborers were there they did everything from the very simple task to hardest task they did everything but now things changed right everywhere we can see robotics so can anyone tell me the the reason for having robotics okay wait wait one second until i take that question i will show one thing i will look at this look so this is uh, shown in your book i'm um, i'm showing the same image uh, given in your book or displayed in your book look here uh this is then it is now right so in the past as you can see there are there are workers lined up and engaged in works maybe hundreds sometimes thousands but now you you can't see a single person there it's all about robotics so they can engage in the same work there may be some people to organize or supervise the things or sometimes operate 
but uh, you can't say that the things are done by people right people should be there only for monitor only for watch only for supervise right so see how far things changed right so now we can understand some of the advantages even by looking at these pictures you can get some advantages so tell me what is the reason for having robotics in industries nowadays tell me one reason anyone to make work easier uh work easy uh, okay any other answers management of time for management of time others never get tired tired okay don't tire, get tired okay hmm. they do fast uh, faster fast. work than the people all right so look here so we use uh, we use robotics in in industries because yes your answers are almost correct uh maybe the first one is accurate accuracy you know machines never never make mistakes because those machineries or those robotics work according to the instruction fed to them so they follow the instructions so once or if the instructions are correct definitely their job also perfect right so the first advantage of first reason for having robotics in industry is accurate or accuracy right but you know people never make uh, never do the things correctly they often make mistakes right so that is one so yes as you uh, said that uh, they are very fast right they can complete a big task within a short period of time right so that may be okay right they are fast and also yes uh, they never get tired see as people as human beings we get tired so when we feel that we are tired we cannot do the things perfectly even we cannot do the things continuously right so since those machines or those robotics never get tired uh, they can work in the same uh, same uh, i mean uh, pace same speed and also they can continue their work right that is another advantage never get tired yes the other one uh, they can work 24 hours in a day 24 by 7 possible right 24 hours as uh, i mean 7 days in a week possible but you cannot uh, work like that you are a human being so you definitely uh, get tired and you need rest so you can't but if you use robotics in the in the industry definitely you can uh, make them for work 24 hours a day definitely that can i mean uh, increase your i mean uh, profit right so that is another one and also you can say that uh, they are hygiene right hygienic so because if you if you appoint people laborers in your industry definitely you know as people we are affected uh, by some diseases and sometimes we are not hygienic so so they can affect the product if you are manufacturing a food item right so definitely that hygienic is very important but you cannot expect such thing from all the workers right but here if it is a robotic you know it's a machine it never be affected by any illnesses right so and also it never be uh, like hygienic so definitely it is good right it is good to have some products so that is also another advantage so see these uh, these are these are the sum of uh, advantages some of the advantages or even you can say reasons have a look at them right 24 hour service never get tired efficiency you know that term efficiency includes everything right maybe high is fast everything is there accuracy hygiene okay so even you can see here a motor car manufacturing company uses robotics for manufacturing the motor car even as i said earlier from a very tiny equipment to largest equipment robotic technologies they are nowadays because if you use robotics you can get these advantages right so this is one and this is the one and only application of ict in industry which we have taken right there may be more than one but this is enough for us okay right 
so let's move to the business so industry business these are the two areas we are uh, which, which are very i mean very close right because once the product is manufactured then it will be sent to the uh, business area so these are too close right take this business even in business ict is uh, used immensely right you can see ict application in business everywhere uh, but we will take some of the most important applications right so starting with uh, video conferencing look here so video conferencing is one of the application applications of ict in almost all the fields not only for business but i take this video conferencing in business but even you can say that video conferencing is possible in medical field video conferencing is possible possible in education maybe everywhere it is possible but we take in business right so first understand let's understand the term video conferencing first after that we, we can take some other things so video conferencing is just a conference you know what conference is right it's a discussion so in video conferencing people engage in discussions using visuals using videos but they are not in a single place they are physically discharged look here i include three things so it's a discussion method it's it's a con it's a conference in between people where uh, they use visual discussion which means video discussion and also note they are not in a single place they are in different different areas so people in different areas right so they are in different areas and also they use video and here uh, it's a conference so try include these three things in the definition so have you understood first of all understand that it is a discussion method or it's it's a conference and not it is not a verbal communication or audio con con conversation it's a video conversation which means you can uh, discuss uh, visually you can see the others right others can see you so it's a visual communication and also people are not in a single place people who engage in the conversation are not in a single place they are in different parts of the country maybe even different part of the world so try composing your definition by including these three so how can i make the definition video conferencing it's a conference in between people right or oh, okay better better you can say video conferencing conference is a visual conference in between people who are physically separated right who are physically separated which means they are in different part so it is very very important for business because you know some some businesses have branches if you take a business company in sri lanka it may have hundreds of branches so sometimes they need an urgent meeting in between uh, the managers of the branches so if you take a sri lankan company like take a look at this uh, kargil supermarket so that kargil supermarket has hundreds of branches around the around the nation right so suddenly assume that they want to conduct a meeting uh for the managers of these branches but since the branches are widely spread you cannot uh take them in a single place uh, from meeting because it's an urgent meeting so now this method is ideal all these people can sit in their residence or maybe in their uh, uh branch right so while they are sitting in the branch they can participate in the in the meeting so there may be some requirements needed i i will i will point them okay so before that look here don't go for a far away to take example for video conferencing the thing which we are doing now also video conferencing right now you are you are participating in a class you are attending uh, in a class but remember this is a video conferencing but unfortunately the video is not i mean uh, permitted to you i am the only person uh, who show the video right 
but you are restricted to show your video. But if you show your video, remember this is a conversation. You must agree that it is a conversation, right? It is a conference, right? So some people discussing some matters. It is not the one way, right? I'm asking the question, you give your resp responses. So it's a conversation. But it is not only the verbal communication or conversation, it's a video. But because of the internet and because of the some other issues, we, uh, we stop the video, right? So definitely it's a video conferencing. But note, this video conferencing is used in education at the moment. It is not business. But imagine, right now you can get that imagination, right? So now imagine you are the, you are the uh, managers of the branches. You are in different part of the Sri Lanka. I am here. So now we are discussing some matters visually, right? So on my monitor, I can see your faces. If uh, 50 people are participating, so all these 50 people or maybe 49 people uh, videos are there. I can see you directly on the screen. Have you understood? So this is video conferencing. Right? So to conduct a video conferencing, there may be four important requirements. Right? You need four essential things. So can anyone tell me what are the things needed for starting a video conferencing? Because now you have experience. The, th the thing that you are doing right now is video conferencing. So tell me what are the requirements needed? What are the things needed? Internet. Yes, internet is must. Have you understood? Without having the internet, you cannot start the video conference. Assume if this internet is absent, if you don't have internet now, is it possible for having a video conferencing? No, right? You and me are connected with internet. So internet is, is very important. What else do you need? Smart device. Yes, better to say computer, right? You know, smartphone or tablet or maybe laptop, everything is a computer. So you need a computer. It is not important to separate them as smartphone and tablet, PC and laptop, you need computer. So you need a computer that is very important and also an internet. What else do you need? Web camera? Yes, there must be a web camera, right? There must be a web camera because without web camera, see if I don't have the web camera now, you cannot see my visual, you cannot see my video. My video is, is taking or is capturing by this device, right? So, and, and uh, through the internet, that visual is sent to you. Okay, so you are able to see me because of my video, sorry, web camera. So sometimes called webcam. Uh, so don't think that all the smart devices or all the computers have web camera. So tablet computers, smartphones, uh, maybe laptop computers have, but desktop computers don't have web camera, right? So web camera should be a separate device. Okay, have you understood? Don't think that camera, sorry, camera is inside of the device. Some of the device devices have, but some of them don't. So it is better to take that as additional web camera. What else we want? Well, I want one more. Microphone. Uh, maybe okay, okay, microphone. Uh, let me. Uh, okay, better take microphone as uh, as a inbuilt device in computer. Which means microphone. If it is computer, assume microphone computer with microphone. I don't want to take microphone separately. Assume microphone is in the computer. Any other requirements? Communication software. Yes. Look here. You and me are connected because of internet, yes, because of computer, okay. But look, if we don't use a software like this, here we are using Zoom application. So if you don't use this Zoom application, you cannot make this conference. You cannot attend this conference. So now I can see your names or maybe if I want, I can see your faces, I can listen to your voices. So now, all these, all these things are arranged 
by a software. You can't say that the video conference is successful. It is because of having computer and having internet and having web camera. Yes, they are essential. But in addition to them, there must be a software for organizing the things. So that is very important. That can be called a communication software, right? A communication software. Simply one example is uh, this one, right? A Zoom application. You have Microsoft Teams, you have uh, Google Meet. So there are many. Okay, so if you have these four, four things, then definitely you can start a video conference. Okay, so give, uh, let's take the description which I have given. Look here, face-to-face -face meetings can be conducted even, so even though the people are in different places. Okay, so it's a, it's a visual face-to-face -face meeting, which means it's a visual communication between people who are in different part of the world or who are in different places. So advantages, have a look at the advantages, no need for a special venue. Even now you can feel that, right? So if you, if, if you, if you want to participate in a regular class, right, in a physical class, definitely we need a place, we need a venue. So suppose if I want to add uh, 200 people, definitely I need a big place for accommodating these 200 people. But fortunately, if you use uh, this video conference, you don't need a single place, right? So that is one advantage. Yes, we can save the traveling time. Here also, now you're saving your traveling time. You don't need to come here and participate in the class. You are comfortably sitting there and you can save your traveling time, right? So this, this may be okay because here we, we are in a small range, right? We are not far away. But think about some uh, instances where a business uh, has uh, conferences. So sometimes if it is a multinational company, uh, multinational company means the company which has branches around the world. So sometimes if they want to conduct a video conference, definitely those managers who are in charge of every country should get together in, in a place. So they have to travel thousands of kilometers. But if they use video conference, definitely they can save that time, okay? And also you can uh, reduce your expenses. So when there is no need for a traveling, that uh, traveling cost also, uh, uh, I mean, reduced, right? So these, these are some of the advantages. So I have shown a small, I mean, uh, screenshot for video conference. Uh, this is how video conference looks like, right? So here, all these people are on a video conference. So, right, uh, their visuals, they are not photographs, their visuals are on the screen. So everyone can see the others and make them as useful or healthier uh, discussion, right? So you have experiences, I, I don't want to uh, tell them. For, for the previous batches, maybe around before 2020, we had to take enough time to explain video conference because students didn't have any experiences, but now, uh, right now, every single student has the has the opportunity to participate in a conference, video conference. So everyone has idea. So it is not important to discuss or explain in detail. Right. So these are the things which I talked about. Uh, requirements for video conference. Yes, you need a computer, internet, web camera, uh, a communication software, uh, Zoom application, or Microsoft Teams, or whatever. Okay, so this is the first application of ICT in business video conference. So you should know the term first, right? Then you should know some advantages. Finally, remember the requirements, okay, right? Then I take another, another familiar one, online business, right? Online business, that is also another, another familiar thing, online business. sometimes called e-commerce. E-commerce, uh, in ICT we have so many, we have so many words uh, which starts, uh, start with E, so electronic commerce, right? So we know the term business, right? But here we have an additional word, online business. It's very simple. 
so online business means uh, buying and selling using internet it's a very simple idea right buying and selling things and services goods and services over internet is called online business okay so you know the traditional business right i don't want to explain so now we have a, an additional term online okay right so when it comes to online business as you all know products are displayed on websites there are spe there are special websites uh, created for this purpose so products details are displayed on those websites you have to visit to those websites and order for the things maybe like the way that you order in a normal physical store in a normal physical store you have to go there and see the things right if you if you like them you have to order that which means you have to purchase similarly it's a virtual store we call them as virtual because it's not that real one it is a website so we have to go to the virtual store we have to visit to the website and see the things we can check the price the quality and everything so if you like you can order that right okay before we take some of the other things about online shopping uh tell me one or two advantages of online shopping because you have experiences i don't want to explain so many things about online shopping give me one or two advantages one or two advantages time home maybe delivery. okay we can save the time because if it home is delivery. Uh, wait 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 while i'm explaining you have to wait right so uh you can save your time because any time you can order that you don't need to go to the particular store right you can order any time so can save the time what else 24 hours 24 hours yes. service yes it opens 24 hours any time right any time you can order for the things but if it is a normal shop physical shop you know they have an office uh, hours right so during that office hour only you can purchase the things maybe from 9 am to 5 am 5 pm or something so you have to be there so they have a time limit there but here 24 hours it opens you can you can take your convenient time and order that that is another advantage any others quality so, traveling charge yes traveling cost is reduced since it is an online uh, order online business you don't need to go there while you at home you can order so traveling cost can be reduced and any others quality uh quality uh, you can say like that see in online business you can compare the products right because several several sellers can can showcase their products so if you want to buy a product you can compare the products for example assume that you want to buy uh, a wrist watch right you want to buy a wrist watch so if it is a physical store you know you need to visit so many physical stores and also there may be limited number of uh, i mean options limited number of selections but here when it comes to online business so in in one website there are so many sellers who who show or who display uh, different types of uh, wrist watches even you don't need to visit so many website you can visit only one website and see so many uh, varieties so you have choices right you have plenty of choices there try comparing those and uh, i mean buy the best right so that may that may be one of the biggest advantages that we uh, we get right not only for response right you can take anything if you want to buy a mobile phone there are thousands of selections there compare and take the best one you can compare in terms of price maybe quality so whatever right you can compare and buy it any others any other advantages get detailed information about the product avoid unnecessary travel time okay so here boundary. the payment also payment method also very easy 
uh, you have uh, you, if you have credit cards uh, maybe debit cards so it's very simple even uh, if you have a credit card you can you can purchase for credit right credit card payment is there which is very safe so credit uh, sorry payment methods also very safe and also uh, with, even though you don't have cash it is possible to pay that right uh, it is possible to purchase that because you have credit card payment there so we have so many so many advantages have a look at them first right selling and buying goods and services via internet is called online shopping it is not only selling selling and buying goods and services right both goods which means things huh? things and services even you can get services from online shopping right uh, advantages i have given some of some of the advantages open 24 hours a day and 7 days can compare the things and order at one uh, at one convenient place sorry can compare the things and order at one convenient place because there are there are so many websites there you can order in a convenient website credit card payments are they are very they are very secure a home delivery of goods which means you can save your transport cost can select any online shop for purchasing right so there are so many online shops there you can select the best one okay even uh, right there may be so many advantages but i have given some of them right uh, so tell me so you may have some experiences in uh, online shopping right so tell me some of the online shopping websites amazon amazon yes we Teras. have amazon ebay aliexpress look, look wait 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 right uh, we have amazon.com w because it's a website so you know website has, uh, has an address listen website has an address uh, which is called url in grade 11 we can uh, study those things Webs in spoken we used to call that as website address but it has a standard term called url uniform resource locator so this is www.amazon.com so this is one of the uh, famous online website uh, wide around the world right so not it is not uh, restricted only a country it's it's a very popular one and we have ebay amazon and ebay are the two uh, i mean uh, famous around the world right so www.ebay.com uh, yes in locally in sri lanka there are hundreds even i i can say thousands of uh, online websites are there online business websites are there uh, yes daras there right even you can say igman or kapruga so we have so many right aliexpress yes aliexpress there aliexpress aliexpress is one of the i mean leading uh, leading online uh, online business partner like amazon ebay aliexpress also there alibaba there right so there are many things so you may visit to one of the website and see the things i i hope that you have experiences but uh, some of the student may have uh, may not have any experiences let me spend maybe a two or three minutes to show only a, uh, only that particular website and see how to order i don't want these are not for exam because these are for the students who don't have experiences right so wait patiently i will open a particular uh, online business website and try explaining how to order right wait
right? So this is the, uh, we use the word home page. The first page of the website is called home page. So this is the home page of eBay, which means eBay online website. So maybe on the home page, there are products displayed, maybe recently added products, right? new arrivals. So they are there. Uh, you, can, you can see the details directly. Oh, they have all these, de all these products as a category. You can see, even you can search. You look here, there is a box. Assume that you want to buy uh, sunglass, just type sunglass. Or if you want to type, uh, if you want to buy a mobile phone, type on here mobile phone. Or here you have a category. Look here, shop by category. Almost all the websites, online websites have this pattern. So click here, look here. So all the products are arranged in categories because if they have categorized, it's too easy to order. Assume that you want to buy a wristwatch or something. Uh, so here I have to go to the fashion, right? So fashion. So women, women there, men there. Okay, let me buy for women. So click on it. Right. So here. Okay, I think that is somewhere else, right? Okay, doesn't matter, right? So you can find it later. Uh, uh, sorry, here it is, right? Uh, jewelry and watches. So click on it. And now you can see even there may be category two, right? We can find it, but it takes some time to show everything. But you can see the products there. Right, not only uh, few, there may be thousands of products, right? Here you can see only few products. Okay, let me take this product. So US dollar 11.82, so I click on it. If I want to order, I have to click on it. So now you can see uh, the product in different, uh, they show some different photographs because if it is only one photograph, you cannot get the whole idea, right? So you can see uh, different photographs of that. You can click and see that, right? And also uh, the color selections there for most of the product. Here they have white, blue, right? If it is white, it is white. You can zoom in, right? Just zoom and see the things. Uh, check it, the, the price $11.82. And you, you have to check the shipping also. Shipping means whether the transportation is free or not. So if you have experiences, it's okay. But otherwise, when you are purchasing for the first time, try checking the shipping. Shipping means transport. Here, see, free, free shipping for Sri Lanka. So here, you don't need to pay for anything for transport. Only 11.82 is enough. And also more importantly, you have to check the details about this product. We call it as specification. Try scroll down. Look here, you have some details. You can see that. You have to read it carefully. Look here, features there, specifications there. So before you order, try read and understand everything because sometimes they, they sell used item. So if it is used item, they definitely put the term used. So you have to check. I think it is it may be on the top. Look here. Uh, here condition new, right? So which means it's a new product. So try checking everything. Once you check everything, if you think that it is good to buy, just click on buy it now, right? Buy it now, right? And uh, if you have to, you have to, if you have an account, eBay is good, even you can order as a guest, 
you don't need to have an account just click on it i don't want to go uh, beyond this part but you can i click on sign in to check out so here i have to sign in because uh, if i have an account definitely i have a username there password there i i can click continue and order it okay so this is how it works uh, if you have interest you can try it you need to have a debit card or credit card for purchasing right but uh, for someone who learns in grade 10 it's not good right but if if you want you can take the uh, elders help and buy it okay so this is uh, this is how uh, it works this uh, online business okay so we, these are some of the famous websites amazon.com ebay aliexpress in sri lanka we have igman daras right so there are hundreds of websites are there uh, in all these websites you can find thousands of products okay so online business become popular because it has so many advantages okay right so let's take another another application i have shown a sample i mean screenshot for one website right then okay uh check the human resource management so you know in business right in business managing the human resource is very important task because if it is a big business you can see uh, thousands of employees working there so you need to manage them they are the human resources you have to manage them so you know that management includes everything i i think i i explained this term even farm house also farm house management so here also business has to be managed so in in uh, human resource management first of all you need to take fingerprints the attendance right for taking attendance it's important so they are we use ict so we can use fingerprint readers there right fingerprint readers they are for taking attendance and also you can use card readers have you seen such card reader so card readers also use instead of fingerprint they are every staff or every empl employee is given a card that card can be read by a machine nowadays almost all the fingerprint readers have a uh, even card reader also but uh, i can't say that all but if you want you can purchase a fingerprint reader with card reader facility i right here in this picture both fingerprint reader and card reader facility also there so if you are an employee in a company you will be given like card like this right so whenever you go to the work just show this card near to that device even you don't need to be closer maybe in a in a decent distance you can show that card to the machine so they mostly it uses rfid technology and scan right so once your card is scanned your attendance is registered this method is used even in some of the sc schools in sri lanka and right? some of the famous schools in sri lanka use such mechanism for taking the attendance because if you have 5000 students in a school sometimes taking attendance is very tough so while they are entering uh, into into the school maybe at the entrance this is placed entrance means inside of a school so there may be some of the few readers are uh, placed so students can show their card and uh, put the attendance okay so this is possible even in the uh, business also uh, but uh, here in this picture you can see both fingerprint reader and card reading facility okay so these are some of the human resource management activities for hu managing human resource also ict is used okay so in business i have explained uh, three things first of all video conferencing then i explain about uh, e e-commerce online business the third one human resource management under human resource management there may be many applications but i have taken two using fingerprint readers and using card readers okay let's take the third uh, fourth application in business this is e-banking system 
by e-banking. So as I told you earlier, in ICT we have words with, which start with e, so many words, right? e-learning, e-banging, e-mail, right? e-commerce. So we have so many things. So e means electronically or electronic. So look here, forget about banging first, sorry, forget about uh, e first. If it is banging, right, take the word bang or banging. So, you know, banging is a verb, right? It's a verb. So banging means performing activities which are related to bank. That, that may be the simple meaning for banging. Have you understood? Learning or playing like that, banging. So banging means doing a bank related activity. It may be depositing a money. Uh, it may be withdrawing some money. It may be transferring some amount from one account to another account. It may be a loan related activity. So whatever you do in relation with bank can be taken as banking. Have you understood? But now you have an additional letter E. For example, see, if it is learning, you all can understand. So learning means so getting some knowledge in, in some aspect. So that may be learning. So you, you can learn subject matters, you can learn some matters which are not related to subject. They are learning. But when it comes to e-learning, what does it mean? You are learning something with the help of a computer, internet and other things. So I can say that you are learning electronically. Now, even right now, you are doing e-learning. You are learning something electronically because you are using internet, you are using computer, mobile phone. So the one that you are doing right now is e-learning. This is not the traditional learning. Take that idea here. If it is banging, activities related to bank. But if it is e-banging, yes, activities related to bank, it's okay. But those activities must be performed electronically, which means with the help of internet, with the help of computer and some other devices. So what I'm trying to say is e-banging is not a small term. It's a term which includes so many activities in the bank, but almost all the activities are related to computer and some other devices. Simple example, see, take, take that ATM. You know ATM, right? You all know ATM. So in ATM, we can withdraw the money, even we can deposit the money. Both facilities are available in the modern ATMs, right? So in ATM, we all perform banging activity because depositing, withdrawing are banging activities. So we perform banging activities, but not these banging activities are, are carried out by the help of the device. Computer, there may be a monitor, maybe some devices inside, so we are doing electronically. So withdrawing money in ATM or depositing money to ATM is one of the e-banging activity. Have you understood? That may be the first one, first e-banging activity. Look, ATM, automatic. So first of all, try understanding the e-banging, right? So. I'm taking enough time to explain such matters, even though they are very simple, I am taking time because you must understand the term correctly. Okay, never ever memorize. So first e-banging activities, I have shown three e-banging activities. Look at the first one, ATM, automatic teller machine. So I hope that you all understood that one, right, as... Uh, Okay, so you all understood that one as uh, electronic banging because it is related to electronic computer and internet. Okay, right. Second, listen to me. So you might have heard uh, online banging. Have you heard online banging? Anyone, what, what, is it, what does it mean, online banging? Anybody? Right. If it is online banking, you need to visit to that particular bank's website 
for doing banking activities for example if i if i have an account in a particular bank i have to i have to apply for online banking facility so once my request is approved they give a username and password right a private number username and password for me so with the help of that username and password i can visit to the particular bank's website and enter those usernames and passwords and can do all the banking activities which can which can i uh, perform uh, in the bank i can transfer some amount from my account to another account i can pay pay some utility bills like telephone bill water bill right so everything is there so that is also one of the e banking activity online banking have you heard nowadays you know banks uh, expand their their services widely you can see every bank right every bank has so many features they they come very closer to our doors right uh, look here nowadays they or not nowadays right so few years back they introduced sms banking so with the help of um, sms right by by sending sms you can perform banking activities even mobile banking there right mobile banking is something different than sms banking if it is mobile banking you have to have, you have to use an application in your mobile phone a particular app right an application should be installed in your mobile phone with the help of application you can do whatever you want right you can see your account balance right like i mentioned earlier you can transfer account, amount for other accounts uh, can pay bills right everything is possible that is mobile banking recently right uh, due to this uh, current issue recently most of the bank introduce whatsapp banking whatsapp banking so banking uh, through whatsapp application earlier in mob, uh, in in uh, mobile banking every bank introduced a special software for them through that special software if it is bank of sloan in sri lanka so they introduce a application for them through that you can uh, you could perform activities but now whatsapp can be used for performing banking activities so all these things are what electronic banking have you understood so look here one second look here so i am in the official website of commercial bank and so they have uh, they have uh, i mean uh, banks in uh, bangladesh and sri lanka so i want to visit to sri lankan online banking look here online banking their website is there that is a normal website here for online banking they have website if it is you are if you belong to bangladesh you have to click here it's sri lanka i click on here right now you can see login to combank online so they have different things combank online there which means online banking they have digital banking combank digital uh, so there are different things i think they have two options here right online banking and digital banking so if i want to log in to online banking click here now it immediately asks username and password first first one id is there it is username and then uh, we have to give the password to i right? click the login button and there so if i if i enter such i mean correct username and password then i can perform banking activities inside okay so these are uh, online sorry these are call uh, e bank electronic bank all these things can be taken as e bank all right so today also we took some important things uh, since the time is up we have to finish things off so again try spending some time in uh, understanding again and again i told you these are actually don't give much important for such things i'm taking some time because as a student you should learn these basic things because it's our practical life 
so while you are studying ICT, you have to improve your practical, uh, I mean, current affairs. So that's why I'm taking some time. But uh, for exam, you can uh, even remembering those names mostly enough. Okay. Any questions? So attendance is must. I have been watching from the very beginning, right? So there are some students who come and go, right? And maybe at the beginning of the class, they were, they were there, but maybe after some time, some of you, not all, right? Some of you, uh, I mean, uh, locked out. So it must be important, right? Attendance is important. Okay, with this, we can conclude and uh, meet tomorrow, right? Okay, thank you.